The Italo-Albanian Catholic Church Italian, Chiesa Cattolica Italo-Albanese, Albanian, Kisha Byzantine Arborece, Italo-Albanian Byzantine Catholic Church or Italo-Albanian Church, is one of the 23 Eastern Catholic Churches which, together with the Latin Church, compose the Catholic Church. It is a particular church that is autonomous sui juris, using the Byzantine rite and the ancient Greek language the language that was the principle of all peoples in the tradition of the Eastern churches or the Albanian language the mother language of the community for the liturgy, whose Italo-Albanian members are concentrated in southern Italy Abruzzo, Apulia, Basilicata, Calabria, and Sicily. The Italo-Albanian Church is in full communion with the Pope of Rome, directly subject to the Roman Congregation for the Oriental Churches, but follows the ritual and spiritual traditions that are common in most of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Church members are the descendants of the exiled Albanians who fled to Italy in the 15th century under the pressure of the Turkish persecutions in Albania and the territories inhabited by Albanians in the Balkans and the Peloponnese. The Albanian population in Italy has maintained until today the language, customs and religious rites of their origin. This church maintains their heritage, the ethnic, cultural and religious tradition of the Albanians' fathers, keeping alive the spiritual and liturgical tradition of the Eastern Church from the time of Justinian 6th century. The church is the only remaining Byzantine Rite community in Italy, unique in the Latin Rite majority Western Europe. It is securely inclined to ecumenism between the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church. Name The Byzantine Rite was brought to Italy in the 15th century by Albanian exiles fleeing from Albania, Epirus and Morea because of persecution by Ottoman Turks of Muslim faith. Italy had already known Eastern Christian rites in previous centuries, but had disappeared. The Albanians, Orthodox united in Rome with the Council of Ferrara Florence, brought with them language, customs, customs and belief, jealously keeping the Byzantine rite and naturally bridging between East and West see Albanian missions in Albania in 1690–1769, contacts with Ored, Cretan Byzantine art and new missions of re-Christianization of Albania in 1900. The Italo-Albanian Catholic Church is therefore characterized by a specific ethnic group, the Albanians of Italy, Arborece or Italo-Albanesi. The only place where the Byzantine Rite remained in Italy was the monastery of Grottoferrata, an Italo-Greek foundation, which had become steadily Latinized through the centuries. The Albanians of Sicily and Calabria, from the 18th to the present, were bringing the monastery back to life, where most of its monks, abbots and students were and are Italo-Albanian, began to once again flourish. The name, Greek, refers to the Byzantine rite, as opposed to, Latin, Roman rite, and not to an ethnic component. History Topic. Byzantine period Topic. The conquest of Italy by the Byzantine Empire in the Gothic War 535 began a Byzantine period that included the Byzantine domination of the papacy from 537 to 752. It is difficult to say whether the Byzantine rite was followed in any diocese of southern Italy or Sicily before the 8th century. But the gradual Hellenization of those regions during the period of control by the Byzantine Empire, as well as the founding of numerous Greek monasteries, must have affected liturgical life. The spread of Greek monasticism in Italy received a strong impulse from the Rashidun Caliphate invasion of the Levant and Egypt, and later from the ban on religious images or icons. The monks naturally retained their right, and as the bishops were not infrequently chosen from their number, the diocesan liturgy, under favorable conditions, could easily be changed, especially since the Lombard occupation of the inland regions of southern Italy cut off the Greeks in the south from communication with the Latin Church. When, in 726, Leo III the Isaurian withdrew southern Italy from the patriarchal jurisdiction of Rome and gave it to the Patriarch of Constantinople, the process of Hellenization became more rapid, it received a further when, on account of the Muslim conquest of Sicily, Greeks and Hellenized Sicilians fled to Calabria and Apulia. Still it was not rapid enough to suit the Byzantine emperors, who feared lest those regions should again fall under the influence of the West, like the Duchy of Rome and the Exarchate of Ravenna. 
Finally, after the Saxon emperors had made a formidable attempt to drive the Greeks from the peninsula, Emperor Nikephoros II Phocas and the Patriarch Polyoptus made it obligatory on the bishops, in 968, to adopt the Byzantine rite. This order aroused lively opposition in some quarters, as at Bari, under Bishop Giovanni. Nor was it executed in other places immediately and universally. Cassano and Taranto, for instance, are said to have always maintained the Latin rite. At Trani, in 983, Bishop Rodostamo was allowed to retain the Latin rite, as a reward for aiding in the surrender of the city to the Greeks. About the middle of the 11th century, however, Bishop Giovanni II the Constantinople Patriarch Michael I Cerularius after the Great Schism of 1054. In every diocese there were always some churches which never forsook the Latin rite, on the other hand, long after the restoration of that rite, there remained Greek churches with native Greek clergy. Re-Latinization The restoration of the Latin Rite began with the Norman Conquest in the 11th century, especially in the first period of the Conquest, when Norman ecclesiastics were appointed bishops. Another potent factor was the reform of Pope Gregory VII, who in his efforts to repress marriage among the Latin clergy found no small obstacle in the example of the Greek priests. However, he and his successors recognized the Byzantine rite and discipline wherever it was in legitimate possession. Moreover, the Latin bishops ordained the Greek as well as the Latin clergy. In the course of time the Norman princes gained the affection of their Greek subjects by respecting their rite, which had a strong support in the numerous Basilian monasteries in the 15th century there were still seven of them in the Archdiocese of Rossano alone. The Latinization of the dioceses was complete in the 16th century. Among those which held out longest for the Byzantine rite were Asarenza and perhaps Gravina, 1302, Jirachi, 1467, Apido, 1472 when it was temporarily united to Jirachi, Rosano, 1460, Gallipoli, 1513, Bova to the time of Gregory XIII, etc. But even after that time many Greek priests remained in some dioceses. In that of Otranto, in 1583, there were still 200 Greek priests, nearly all native. At Reggio, Calabria, Count Ruggiero in 1092 had given the Greeks the Church of S. Maria della Cattolica, whose clergy had a protopope, exempt from the jurisdiction of the bishop, this was the case until 1611. In 1695 there were in the same dioceses 59 Greek priests, after 30 years there was only one. Rossano still had a Greek clergy in the 17th century. The few native Greek priests were afterwards absorbed in the tide of immigration see below. Of the Basilian monasteries the only one left is that of Gratiferata, near Rome. In Sicily the Latinization was, for two reasons, accomplished more easily and radically. First, during the rule of the Muslim most of the dioceses were left without bishops, so that the installation of Latin bishops encountered no difficulty. Secondly, the Normans had come as liberators, and not as conquerors. Important Greek colonies, founded chiefly for commercial reasons, were located at Venice, Ancona where they obtained from Clement VII and Paul III the Church of S. Anna, which they lost in 1833, having been declared schismatical in 1797, Bari, Lecce where, even in the 19th century, in the Church of S. Nic Nicola, divine worship was carried on in the Greek tongue, though in the Latin rite, Naples where they have the church of S.S. Pietro e Paolo, erected in 1526 by Tommaso Paleologo Asagni, Leghorn where they have the church of the Annunziata, 1607, in Rome there was always a large colony observing the Greek rite. From the end of the 6th century until the 9th and 10th there were several Greek monasteries among which were Sella Nova, near S. Saba, S. Erasmo, San Silvestro in Capit, the monastery next to Santa Maria Antiqua at the foot of the Palatine. Like other nations, the Greeks before the year 1000 had their own shola at Rome. It was near the church of Santa Maria in Cosmedon. Even in the pontifical liturgy, at least on some occasions, a few of the chanted passages were in Greek. The custom of singing the epistle and gospel in both Latin and Greek dates from that period. Topic: <inaudible> Albanian influx. Topic: 
Besides the first large emigration of Albanians which took place between 1467 and 1470, after the death of the celebrated George Castriata Skanderbeg when his daughter, who had become the princess of Bisignano, invited her countrymen to the Kingdom of Naples, there were two others, one under Ottoman Empire Sultan Selim II directed to the ports along the Adriatic Sea and to Livorno, the other about 1740. In the course of time, owing to assimilation with the surrounding population, the number of these Italo-Greeks diminished, and not a few of their villages became entirely Latin. To educate the clergy of these Greeks, Pope Gregory XIII founded in 1577 at Rome the Greek College of St. Athanasius, which served also for the Greek Catholics of the East and for the Ruthenians, until a special college was instituted for the latter purpose by Pope Leo XIII. Among the alumni of St. Athanasius was the celebrated Leo Alatius. Another Greek Byzantine ecclesiastical college was founded at Piana degli Albanesi in 1715 by P. Giorgio Guzzetta, founder of an oratory of celibate Greek Byzantine clergy. At Fermo the seminary of S.S. Pietro e Paolo existed from 1663, erected by the propaganda to supply priests for Albania. It was suppressed in 1746. Finally Pope Clement XII, in 1736, founded the Cursini College in the ancient abbey of San Benedetto Alano in the charge of a resident bishop or archbishop of the Greek Rite. Later it was transferred in 1794 to San Demetrio Carone, in the ancient Basilian monastery of S. Adriano. Since 1849, however, and especially since 1860, this college has lost its ecclesiastical character and is now secularized. Seminaries for the Albanians of Italy were set up in San Benedetto Alano, and then in San Dimitrio Carone, Calabria, in 1732, and in Palermo, Sicily, in 1734. Topic: <laughs> Ecclesiastical status. Topic. Until 1919, the Italo-Greeks were subject to the jurisdiction of the Latin diocesan bishops. However, the popes at times appointed a titular archbishop, resident in Rome, for the ordination of their priests. When Clement XII established the Cursini College at San Benedetto Alano in 1736, he placed it in charge of a resident bishop or archbishop of the Greek Rite. Pope Benedict XIV, in the papal bull, Etsi Pastoralis. 1742, collected, coordinated and completed the various enactments of his predecessors, and this bull was still law in 1910, regulating the transfer of clergy and lay people between the communities of the Greek Rite and Latin Rite and specifying that children of mixed marriages would be subject to the Latin Rite. Sui <inaudible> juris <inaudible> On 6 February 1784, the pre-diocesan ordinariate of the Albanians in Sicily was created, with Bishop Papas Giorgio Stasi, titular bishop of Lampsacus, first holding that position. By 1909, another ordinary for the Greeks of Calabria was residing at Naples. The 20th century saw the foundation in 1919 of the Eparchy of Lungro, an Eastern Catholic bishopric in Calabria, which serves Byzantine Rite Albanians in mainland Italy, and on 26 October 1937 of the Eparchy of Piana dei Greci for those in Sicily promoted from the Ordinariate of Sicilia. One month before the foundation of the Eparchy of Piana dei Greci in 1937, the Byzantine Rite Monastery of St. Mary of Gratiferata, not far from Rome, was given the status of a territorial abbacy, separating it from the jurisdiction of the local bishop. In October 1940, the three ordinaries held an inter-eparchial synod for preserving their Byzantine traditions and unity with an Orthodox Church of Albania observation delegation. On 25 October 1941, the Eparchy of Piana dei Greci was renamed as the Eparchy of Piana degli Abanesi, Eparchia e Horas se Arbarashevit. In 2004 and 2005, a second inter-eparchial synod was held in three sessions approving ten documents for the Synod's theological and pastoral context, the use of scripture, catechesis, liturgy, formation of clergy, canon law, ecumenical and interreligious relations, relations with other Eastern Catholic churches, re-evangelization and mission." They were submitted to the Holy See and were still in dialogue as of mid-2007 in regards to their promulgation. Organization. Topic. 
There are three ecclesiastical jurisdictions composing the Italo Albanian Catholic Church Eparchy of Lungro degli Italo Albanesi, Eparchy of Piana degli Albanesi, Territorial Abbacy of Santa Maria of Grottoferrata. The eparchies themselves have not been organized as a metropolitan church and remain on an equal footing, directly subject to the Holy See. These eparchies allow the ordination of married men as priests, and they also govern a few Latin Rite parishes within the respective territories of the eparchies. As of 2010, the Church's membership was estimated at approximately 61,000 faithful, with two bishops, 45 parishes, 82 priests, five deacons, and 207 religious brothers and sisters. In the Church, there are this religious institutions the Italo Albanian Basilian Monks Order of Grottoferrata, present in Lazio, Calabria, and Sicily, the Suore Collegine della Sacra Familia, and the Congregation of the Italo Albanian Basilian Sisters Figli di Santa Macrina, present in Sicily, Calabria. Austria, Albania and Kosovo. Italo-Albanian communities were formed in the cities of Milan, Turin, Rome, Naples, Bari, Lecce, Crotone, Casenza and Palermo, as well as in Switzerland, Germany, United States, Canada, Argentina and Brazil. They depend, however, on Latin dioceses and only in some cases is the Byzantine liturgy celebrated. Over the centuries, albeit limited, there have been contacts religious between Albanians of Italy with the Christian East monasteries of Crete and Albania Archdiocese of Shkoder, Duras, Himer. Important is the spiritual and cultural contribution of the monks and Ieramonici Albanians in the monastery of Grottoferrata. Outside of Italy there are some diaspora communities Italo-Albanian organized in religious associations and parishes. In the United States there are other churches of the Byzantine Rite for example Our Lady of Wisdom Church in Las Vegas, under the jurisdiction of the Byzantine Catholic Eparchy of Phoenix, and Italo-Greek Catholic Mission of Our Lady of Grace in New York, under the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of New York, and more generally of the Eastern Rite, of different ethno-linguistic and historical tradition. Territorial Abbacy of St. Mary of Grottoferrata Topic. The Territorial Abbacy of Santa Maria of Grottoferrata is the only Italian Basilian order of Grottoferrata monastery and is staropegic and is the only remnant of the once flourishing Italo-Greek monastic tradition. The Italo-Albanian Basilian order of Grottoferrata abbreviated as OSBI is the religious order of the Italo-Albanian Catholic Church. It is located in Grottoferrata, Rome, Lazio, Italy. The abbot ordinary, Emiliano Fabricatori, Italo-Albanian from Calabria, is also the superior general of the Italian Basilian order of Grottoferrata. History The abbey was founded in 1004 by Nihilus of Rossano, a monk of Greek descent from Calabria, and has remained in continuous operation since then. It is the only one of the Italo-Greek monasteries that has survived. Most gradually fell into decadence and were taken by the Kingdom of Italy when it secularized religious orders in 1866. Only the Grottoferrata Monastery, considered a national monument, was allowed to continue with the monks as its guardians. In the course of time, the civil authorities have allowed them increasing independence. In 1880, the Holy See ordered the liturgy of the monastery to be purged of the Latin elements that had been introduced over the centuries. Vocations were no longer sought from the general Italian population, but instead chiefly among Italo-Albanians, and the monks set up new monasteries in Sicily and Calabria. On 1 November 1571, the Italian Basilian Order of Grottoferrata was established. On 26 September 1937, the abbey was made a territorial abbacy. See also Topic. Albanian Byzantine Catholic Church Arboratia people Topic. Further reading Topic. Oriente Cattolico Vatican City, The Sacred Congregation for the Eastern Churches, 1974 Fortescue, Adrian. The Uniate Eastern Churches, The Byzantine Rite in Italy, Sicily, Syria and Egypt. Ed. George D. Smith. New York, F. Unger, 1923. Print. Topic. References. Topic. 